Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today we are going to do the mini quest Curse of Zeros, also known as how to get the ghostly robes. Quest requirements The start of Desert Treasure until you have received the Ring of Visibility, which is in the part of the Shadow Diamond. And also the start of Restless Ghost Quest until you have received the Ghost Speak Amulet. Skill requirements None, but there's a 1 in 3 chance that you will need to have 31 prayer to get the ghostly hood and cloak. Items needed None, but a teleportation method around Gylenor is very helpful. Also, there is a 1 in 3 chance that you will need a knife and another 1 in 3 chance that you will need to have a friend to distract the aggressive earth warriors. Alright, where to start this mini quest? Right here, northwest of the fishing guild and a bit southwest of the dwarf cannon quest start. There you'll find Glarial's tomb from the weatherfall quest. Around here, you should find a mysterious ghost. It is hard to see, but when you found him, talk to him. Then select the option, tell me your story. Just skip through the story until you ask where Renard is located. Then read what he has to say. There are three different paths that the ghosts are located to get the other ghostly items. If he says something about pirates and northeast, that means you have path 1. If he says something about bandits and thieves northeast, that means that you have path 2. And also that you will need to have 31 prayer to get the hood and the cloak. If he says something about bandits and thieves southeast, that means that you have path 3 and also that you will need to have a knife and a friend to distract the aggressive earth warriors of level 53. You will also notice that you will get a ghostly rope in your inventory. Drop it and ask for another one. With an empty inventory you can have a maximum of 29 ghostly pieces. The order of the ghostly clothing given is rope top first, then the gloves, then the boots, then the rope bottom, the hood, and then lastly the cloak. Alright, if Velda says something about pirates northeast, that means that you will need to go to the pirates hideout in 53 wilderness, just west of the mage arena. West of the pirates hideout, there you'll find a shipwreck, and near that shipwreck you will find a ghost. Let him tell his story and we will receive the ghostly gloves. Then he will mention something about a ghost in the Chaos Temple in level 31 wilderness. This temple is located just southwest of the level 44 teleportation obelisk and also southwest of the lava maze. Enter this Chaos Temple and there you will find the third ghost. Let him tell his story and you will receive the boots and we will mention a ghost in Entrina. So after you've gotten the boots, you can go to Entrina, go to the church of Entrina, let the ghost tell her story and you will receive the ghostly bottoms. Then she will tell you about a ghost on the main floor of the wizard's tower. So then head to the wizard's tower, let him tell his story and you will receive the ghostly hood. Then that ghost will tell you about the last ghost in the rogue's castle of level 53 wilderness. This ghost is located on the second floor of rogue's castle just next to the uh, level 50 obelisk teleportation method. Just climb to the second floor and there you should find a ghost. Let him tell his story and you will receive the ghostly cloak. This was for path 1. For path 2 Valdus will mention something about thieves and bandits northeast of here. That means that you will have to go to level 27 bandit camp. So go to bandit camp, but all those bandits are aggressive. 
so you can use the general store to block the aggressive bandits so you can talk to the ghost in the center of bandit camp let him tell his story and you will get the gloves then he will mention a ghost in the graveyard of shadows just east of bandit camp in level 18 wilderness let him tell his story and you will receive the ghostly boots then he will mention a ghost on porch rim docks so then just go south of Falador to the porch rim docks to the dragon slayer boat and the pest control boat there you'll find a ghost let her tell her story and she will give you the ghostly rope bottoms after her story she will mention a ghost on the second floor of the monastery the monastery is located just west of Edgeville climb up the second floor on the monastery and there you'll find on the eastern side a ghost let him tell his story and you will get the ghostly hood this requires 31 prayer to climb up the monastery then after he has given you the hood he will tell you about a ghost in the slayer tower the slayer tower is located just northwest of Canvas. go to the second floor of the slayer tower and between the stairs and the infernal mages there you will find the last ghost let him tell his story and he will give you the ghostly cloak this was for path 2 now for path 3 Valdes has mentioned thieves and bandits southeast of here that means that you will have to go to bandit camp south of bandit camp in the desert so be sure that you do not equip anything related to Zemrak or Ceredomin or all the bandits will attack you then just go to the pub of bandit camp and you will find a ghost let him tell his story and you will receive the ghostly gloves then he will mention a ghost in the end of the lava maze so this is located in level 44 wilderness just next to the uh, teleportation obelisk you will need a knife to pass through some uh, spider webs and just go all the way through the lava maze until you see a gate go through the gate go a bit southwest go to the second gate just next to the dungeon sign and there you'll find the third ghost let him tell his story and you will receive the ghostly boots after you receive the boots he will mention a ghost at the gnome ball field so head to the gnome stronghold and just east of the gnome ball field there you'll find another ghost let her tell her story and you will receive the ghostly rope bottoms then she will tell you about a ghost upstairs on the Felador party room so then head to Felador climb upstairs to the second floor of the party room and there you'll find the fourth ghost let him tell his story and you will receive the ghostly hood after you receive that you will mention a ghost in level 5 wilderness in the Edgeville dungeon but beware that there are a lot of aggressive earth warriors and the ghost cannot tell his story when you are attacked by earth warriors so that's why you will need a distraction for the earth warriors for example an attacking friend so after the ghost in the Edgeville dungeon has told his story you will receive the ghostly cloak so this was my guide how to do the curse of Zero's quest hopefully it helped okay thanks bye